Geovic is a valuable tool for both gold prospectors and anyone with an interest in Victoria's fascinating gold mining history. This free online geological mapping application enables you to build your own maps, search and access data, tapping into a huge range of sources. Today I'm going to show you how to overlay gold fields maps and aerial imagery into Geovic. If you're new to Geovic, I've got another tutorial which provides a great overview of the application to get you started. I'll put a link to that in the description below. Now, there are lots of brilliant Goldfields maps available online, and some of them have actually been incorporated into Geovic, which is both very handy and very cool. If we open up Geovic, we can easily explore these Goldfields maps by clicking to add new layers, then click Geology, Images, then Historical Maps. This brings up many options. First, let's take a look at Deep Lead Maps. This is a collection of deep lead maps from the 1980s and 90s, which are available on the Earth Resources website, and they've been overlaid onto the map here in Geovic. For example, let's check out the Creswick deep leads. As you can see, it overlays the entire map, including the references and notes, so you will have to ignore some parts of it. Zooming in, we can see all the features of this deep lead map, and we can overlay all our usual features on top, such as leads and historical gold workings. You can change the order of your layers around by dragging them over here. And if you select one, you can also change the transparency of it, which is very handy when messing around with these map overlays. I like to put these maps at the bottom and have all the other features over the top. If you want to check out these deep lead maps as regular PDF files outside of Geovic, I'll put a link in the description to where you can view them online on the Earth Resources website. So let's hide this Creswick map by deselecting it here. And now we're going to take a look at some older Goldfields maps. Click on Goldfields under the same Historical Maps section, and we can see heaps of options. Some of these maps are as recent as the 1990s, but most of them are very old and are loaded with lots of historical details. There are even a few from the 1850s and 60s. We're going to check out this amazing map of the Chute and Castlemaine Goldfield from 1902. And this one's particularly cool to me because it's one of the beautiful old Goldfields maps which I've had professionally restored and printed. These huge high quality maps are available at historicalgoldmaps.com.au. I'll put a link in the description. We can overlay historical mining details by adding new layers, then click onto the minerals section and select mines and mineral occurrences and historical mining activity. Make sure these new layers are on top of the Goldfields map and you'll be able to see many old gold mines and workings as well. You can get more information on these by clicking the info button, but first select this drop down and ensure that visible layers is selected. Then click and drag over the items you want more information on and it will all come up in this table organized by layer. Back to the maps, there are also heaps of geological maps available to overlay as well. Have a look through this entire section under geology, images, then historical maps to see which ones you might find useful. There are also a few more maps under the section Geophysics, then Images, then Historical Maps, then Geophysics 100K. Next up, let's add in some aerial imagery. We'll remove all the map layers we've added in so far, and now we're going to add a new layer. Go to the section Aerial and Satellite Imagery, then Aerial Photos, then choose the relevant area. I'm in the Victorian Goldfields region, so I'm going to select Northwest, and under these sections, I can find aerial imagery for lots of areas across the goldfields. There are also more which are relevant to my area under the southwest section. So let's add imagery for Ararat. You'll have to be a bit patient with the aerial imagery as it can take time to load. This feature can be very helpful as it saves you from switching between Geovic and Google Earth. But if you prefer to switch over, this handy button up in the top right will take you directly to Google Maps at your current location in Geovic. You'll often find that the imagery in Geovic is a better quality than the satellite imagery in Google Maps, depending on when it was taken. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to check out my longer tutorial on Geovic, which goes over a lot of the features of the application, as well as some insights into features such as deep leads, shallow workings, and more. Stay tuned to this channel in the coming weeks, as I'm planning a treasure hunt somewhere in the Victorian goldfields for anyone who's got a metal detector on hand. This will be a throwback to a treasure hunt I did a few years ago, where I buried 100 bucks in a tin in a bushland reserve near Maryborough, then announced it on the Goldfields Guide website. It was found by Darren on day two. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications.